So my name's Brandon Raven. Uh, I coach Oddity Esports in the ANZ Pro League. Uh, I've been a coach for a year. Started off coaching Darksided around this time last year. Um, moved to Oddity in January. I've been coaching Oddity since January. Some of the challenges is really about managing uh, player attitudes and like mindset. I think that's a really difficult part of managing any team in general, but especially esports teams. Um, other than that, uh, obviously fighting the big titans in the scene like uh, Fnatic and Orglis is quite a challenge in itself. Um, so it's a lot of hard work and a lot of time to put in. Um, just been reworking a lot of strats and really just working on our game, making sure that we feel really confident and comfortable going into it. Um, also with Fnatic playing at the Rally Major, it means that we've got a lot of footage on them and a lot of uh, things that we can use to help counter strat, that kind of thing. So we're going to be spending a lot of time just studying them and figuring out how we can adapt our play to, to beat them. Well, it's the first land that the team will actually be competing in as this team. Um, so that's a big experience in itself. Um, it'll really help them get a good picture about how lands are, what they need to prepare for next time we make a land, that kind of thing. Um, so that's probably the biggest key learning that we're going to get from MEO. Um, also having a big match against Fnatic is just going to be a really good uh, learning curve for the team to be able to do that on LAN. I, I don't see Nook being chosen a whole lot. Um, I think her ability is kind of not even situational. It's kind of like Kaveira where you might try and do a little bit of a plan around it, but at the end of the day, it's kind of just sneak in and try to get a couple of kills and that's it. Um, Warden on the other hand, <coughs> I could see him being used in six pick situations a lot. So maybe you might see the other team pick a Glaz and a Ying. You might decide to six pick to a Warden to try and counter that. Um, outside of that though, I don't think he'll be picked a whole lot. Definitely just kind of really specific situations. I guess just trying to include it how we can in the lineup and just see whether it actually works or not. Um, see what organically happens and what we try to force happen. So for example, if you have a Warden, are you organically using his glasses to try and counter stun grenades and smoke grenades? Or are you like, forcing yourself to be in those situations. Um, if you're seeing yourself just forced into the situations, then maybe it's not really viable because it's changing then how we play. Um, so that's the kind of the biggest way that we test it. It's very maneuverable now. and I think that's the biggest new feature of Canal is that you're not uh, stuck to one side of the map very easily. You can actually move around quite a lot. Um, there's also a lot of rooms and like a lot of hiding spots, so to speak. So I think it really promotes uh, a more thorough attack, but also a safer attack because there is less windows. So you can spend a bit more time outside if you need to before entering. Um, so it's definitely a much more balanced map. It definitely feels like it's reached that point. Um, it kind of gave me tower vibes, but in a good way with the way they've changed the inside. And the fact that you have the outside to be able to move around just creates that extra layer that tower is really missing. Um, so I'm really excited to spend more time with Canal and see how it develops. I really like Goyo. Um, his shields are really cool um, and I think there's a lot of strategy around the way you could place them. Um, one really unique feature that I want to play with more is putting them on the other side of reinforced walls so that when a Thermite opens them for example or even Habana charges it actually sets the shield off and creates that fire pit. Um, I think for like last 30 second kind of attacks that could really put a dent in an attack so I think that's a really unique way to use it. I really like that his uh, ability, so his shields aren't just like a you go off and do it and that's it it's like you actually think about where you're placing them and how that works in with a strategy i don't think uh the attacker will um on the other hand the defender got goyo uh, i think he could because uh with his shields being strategically placed it can really slow down those attacks and it's already hard enough to attack as it is um so i think it'll create an even bigger emphasis on time management and thorough droning and that kind of thing because if you see a shield in a tricky spot you're gonna to have to dedicate time and utility just to clear that because it could really come back to bite you at the end of the round if you don't deal with it early. Um, so yeah, it really promotes much better time management on attack.